Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm gonna bring you what I like to call my confetti birthday cake. Now, my birthday's in November. I am, I've never had a birthday party in the summer. So, what did I do last weekend? Celebrated my own birthday with a birthday cake. And I figured I'd share this recipe with you because so many of you write me and send me emails saying, I, can you show me a birthday cake? Now you know I don't make sort of any fancy cakes with fondant and all these cool characters. That's just not my style. I like really good food and I love anything homemade. So this is a gorgeous fluffy white vanilla cake with a gorgeous buttercream. So it is absolutely amazing. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get started. You'll need all-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, granulated sugar, egg whites, unsalted butter softened at room temperature, a little bit of sour cream, I've got some whole milk, vanilla extract, and I've got some jimmies. And this is what's going to go all the way through my batter and it's going to be so good. Now, comment below and let me know what your childhood birthday cake was. Now, to be completely honest with you, when I was a child, I didn't want a birthday cake, I wanted pastilla. <laughs> and that was the birthday cake of choice. But I would love to know from you, and I would love to know when your, you know, your birthday month, and what the cake that you would like to have. And maybe you might see it pop up a lot in the kitchen. So, I thought that might be fun. I'm just taking my egg whites, and I'm gonna use my standing mixer to whip these up. I'm going to whisk these until they've got stiff peaks, and I'll show you what it looks like when they're there. It should take a couple minutes. Beautiful. Now, I don't need the egg whites at this very moment. I actually need them later on in the recipe, but like I did um, previously on a different episode, if I need to whip the egg whites, and I'm using a standing mixer, I might as well get them done out of the way, because you can't whip egg whites in a dirty bowl, so you want to get those done out of the way. So now that that's done, and don't worry if a little bit remains back, it's totally fine. I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to switch to a paddle attachment, and I'm going to add get my beautiful egg whites. Look at that out of the way. I'm going to add my softened butter, really important that it's nice and soft, and my sugar. And I'm going to get these get to get creamed up. <laughs> I'm going to get these nice and creamy and fluffy. My excitement is making me like stutter, but this is going to be gorgeous. And now you've noticed we haven't added whole eggs, and that's because I want this to be a gorgeous white fluffy cake. It's absolutely delicious. Really a treat, I have to say, but it's so worth it, especially if it's your birthday. It's my birthday, and I will eat cake all I want. <laughs> my pretend birthday, anyway. I'm just going to whisk this up or mix it until it's nice and fluffy. That's looking good. I'm going to add a splash of vanilla extract. And at this point, I'm also going to add my sour cream. I'm not adding very much, but this little tiny bit is going to go a long way and give you the fluffiest thing ever, the fluffiest cake ever. But if you don't have it, you could use yogurt. If you don't have yogurt, just use a little extra milk be totally fine. So, raise this up, get these combined. In the meantime, I'm just going to take a quick second to mix together my flour, baking powder, and salt. You don't have to do it perfectly. Just want them to be pretty much mixed together. Now I'm going to add half of my flour, about half, and half of my milk. Bring this back up, mix it together, and then you add the rest of your flour, the rest of your milk, and your, your batter is almost done. That's looking gorgeous. I'm going to add my jimmies in now. And the jimmies are really the best kind of um, sprinkle, confetti <laughs> to use for this, but by all means, you can use anything that you prefer. This is just what I prefer. I'm going to just take that off now. So I'm going to be able to, I want to be able to fold in the egg whites by hand. That way I can make sure that they're not being overly mixed and then they deflate. But, totally forgot to tell you that the first thing you want to do, of course, is get your oven preheated to 350. Get a couple of 9 inch baking pans or cake pans, whatever you call them. Line them with parchment paper and spray them well with some nonstick spray. Those are ready and waiting. And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my spatula and I like to mix everything from the bottom up. Look how gorgeous that is. And now I'm going to take my egg whites, I'll do half at a time, 
and mix that in there. This is going to be just beautiful and it's going to help the cake rise and it's just stunning. I'm just going to mix that up. Once it's all mixed, you want to divide your batter evenly or as even as you can manage among your baking pans or your cake pans. Okay, now these are going to go into my preheated oven at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes or until they're fully cooked and then we'll get going on making the buttercream which if you love like wedding cake frosting, that's what a buttercream is. It is just, oh, the stuff of dreams. Okay, pop this in. My cakes baked for about 30 minutes and I've let them cool completely on a wire rack and now what I've done with one of them, they don't, they're not too domed because remember we didn't add the egg yolks, we just sort of whipped the egg whites and it falls a bit, kind of like a pavlova almost, but what I did, I put it on a cake stand and then I just put a few pieces of parchment paper around so that the cake stand itself doesn't get dirty once I go ahead and frost it. We're going to make a really simple buttercream and it really couldn't be easier. The first thing you're going to do is you need to start with butter that's been softened at room temperature. Like that is so, so crucial. You absolutely need it to be at the proper stage. So what I have here is a good amount of butter because again, this is buttercream and I'm making this in my standing mixer just because it's easier, it needs to whisk, whisk for a long time. So I'm just gonna pop that in. Just gonna add some vanilla extract, about a tablespoon of it, because it is a vanilla buttercream after all. And I'm just gonna whip this up until just the butter starts, go, you know, gets going. And then I have some confectioner sugar here and some whole milk. So I'm just gonna wait for this to kind of get a head start and then we'll add in the sugar. Okay. Now what I also have here that I failed to mention is just a small pinch of salt. And because this is all confectioner sugar, which I know is a lot, but it is a buttercream, um, you just need to add a little salt to cut all the sweetness. It really does, it's a great balance. So I'm just going to add my sugar, trying to not get it all over the place, and I think I did pretty well. Let's see. Yeah, pretty well. And then just a splash of milk, only a couple tablespoons of milk. And now I'm going to get this up and get it going and mixing and this could take up to 10 minutes. I mean buttercream goes from messy to crumbly to perfection. So you just need to have patience and the great thing is you're not doing it by hand. You're using a standing mixer so it makes life a lot easier. Just going to let that continue to go, go, go to it's the perfect consistency and I'll show you what it looks like when it's there. That is perfection. It took a good four minutes of mixing, but I mean, look at that. It's so fluffy. Look at that. So worth the wait. So worth it. And yes, again, it's really rich, but I promise you this is a once in a while treat. It's like a wedding cake. You don't eat it very often and most of the time frostings that are used on wedding cakes are buttercream. So I'm just going to mix. I, have, I get like immense pleasure <laughs> when it comes to buttercream. Because if you make buttercream at home, then you know the consistency that you're looking for. So there's just something about it that just gives me great pleasure. So this is completely done. And now we'll get going on frosting. I'm just going to take a little bit of it. Not too much, about I'd say a third. And I'm just using an offset sort of a spatula here, flat spatula to just smear this. You don't have to go all the way to the edges, although it doesn't matter because we are going to cover the whole thing. Mm, I can't wait to have a slice of this. You have no idea. And if your birthday's in the summer, jealous, very jealous. Take the remaining frosting. I'm trying to get it all out of here. Now I have my birthdays in November. And I've never had, I remember one year my mother threw a birthday party for me in the summer because I remember crying because all my friends when I was a child, uh, their birthdays were in, in, in warmer months so they could have parties outside and I never could. So I remember my mother once threw me a party in like the middle of July, which was amazing. So I envy those who have summer birthdays because they get to be outside and at parties. But I'm just going to frost this. As you can see, I'm dragging it down and then this is why I love my rotating cake stand. And this is why, by the way, you put parchment down because if that were to happen, especially if you're anything like me, you're like a complete and total mess when you're frosting cakes, it helps a lot. 
And then I just like to take the top and just do little swirls like that. You don't have to do this clearly. I'm not a master at decorating cakes. It is just like, it's my way of making it look fancy. <laughs> it's terrible, I know. Decorating cakes is not my forte, okay? Or my mother's. This is why the parchment is so beautiful because now you get to take the parchment off and you have no mess on your hands. Don't you love when that happens? No mess and then you look like a pro. And then you don't tell your friends that this is a trick. That way they're like, how did you manage to do that? And you're like, I'm that good. I don't know. And then I'm gonna take additional jimmies because I want everyone to see that this is a confetti birthday cake. And I'm gonna put them all over the top. The more the merrier when it comes to jimmies. Now, somehow there's a plate and a fork in front of me which leads me to believe that even though it's my only pretend birthday, I should still have a piece of cake. So I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for it. I'm gonna go for that right there. Oh, that's gonna be a big piece, Laura, but it is your pretend birthday, so you really should indulge. Now, if you don't like as much frosting, have the recipe. Make half the amount of frosting. It'll be a really thin layer, but hey, it's your pretend birthday. You do what you want. Look at that. Look at the jimmies all the way through. Look. If you had a confetti cake for your birthday, thumbs up this video, and I love you, and I'm jealous of you, even though I really do like my pastilla. That's where it's at. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. It's such a beautifully flavored cake. That buttercream is like that wedding frosting that we all know and love and we get to eat like maybe once a year. Absolutely divine. Go to lauraindekitchen.com to get this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Let me know what your favorite birthday cake is because I would love to recreate it for your special day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.